Hey everybody, my name is Elizabeth Lopez and I'm going to be doing an hourglass body Q&A. Um, it's something I actually hope to do maybe once a week. Uh, basically on my social media I have a lot of people asking questions on just training and nutrition and um, I thought this would be a fun way to answer some of those questions with a little bit more detail. So uh, what I did last week is I posted a question on my Instagram and um, I just, you know, asked people to post some questions for me. Um, and uh, I got a great response. So about 40 people um, asked some questions. And I got, I'm going to choose the very first question that I got uh, on Instagram just because it's the first question. Why not? It's the first blog. Uh, so the first question was from Callie J. Hi, Callie J. And um, her question is, building abs and booty seems to be what everyone wants these days. How do you do that? Um, so I thought that was a pretty awesome question. Um, I am asked about those types of things a lot. I do uh, post a lot on glute training and ab training. Um, I love training the whole body, but to me those are two areas that are very fun and rewarding. Uh, so let's talk a little bit about that. Um, now this question, I'm going to gear it a little bit more towards people who are trying to um, lose weight and, you know, maintain or build glutes and get a six-pack. Um, it'll be a slightly different answer for someone who is trying to um, gain weight while doing that. So I'll try to address both a little bit, but I am going to gear the answer a little bit more towards the weight loss group that want to build that booty and get a six-pack. So uh, here we go. First thing, if you have tried to um, do the fitness thing before and, you know, you probably are doing a couple things, if you're doing it right, uh, it's going to be your basics, which is follow a healthy eating plan, you know, add some cardiovascular exercise to your regime and, uh, and do some weight training, some resistance training as well. So if you are doing that, one of the things you might have noticed is that your um, bum area gets uh, smaller, which is probably not the goal of a lot of you because if you're like me, you like a nice, you know, round booty. Um, so what's happening there is in the bum area, there is uh, muscle, so your glutes, and then there's also fat. So if you're doing cardio and you're doing proper eating, but you're not training your glutes properly, then they may potentially just actually get smaller and you're going to be upset. I would be upset. Anyways, um, so... The piece of the puzzle that's missing here is, um, well, two things. One is time. So time to, you know, slowly but surely, you're going to see that weight loss. Yes, everything's going to get small, including the glutes, but you're going to get to see more abs, um, you know, more arms, you know, more chiseled face, all these really nice things that come along with um, a leaner body from the cardio and the proper eating. Uh, but also, if you do stay consistent and give it the proper amount of time and you are doing resistance training specifically for your gluteus area, um, then with that time and consistency, you will start to see the building of a really nice set of glutes, again, if you're training properly and you know, proper supplementation, food, all that kind of good stuff as well. It all goes hand in hand. Uh, so... Um, that's the part that people kind of give up on is that time and consistency. So, um, yes, the proper eating, you know, I have eating plans on my website, I'm just saying. Um, you can also find eating plans, of course, with like dietitians and uh, naturopathic doctors, nutritionists. Um, you can find mine at lizabethlopez.com, just saying. Uh, but, uh, but proper eating is huge, 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 um, as well as your cardio. If you're trying to build glutes, you can stick to some cardio that's also going to assist with your glutes, uh, or not stick to, because I'm a big fan of variety, but mix in some cardio that's also going to help out with the glutes, which could include like the step mill, which is that set of stairs that keeps moving and you're walking up the stairs. Um, you can also do um, mixing in some uphill walking, so like turning that treadmill as high as you can. You can work slowly but surely, but my clients that have been with me a little bit longer, I put them on the treadmill on the highest incline will go. So if it goes 15 or higher, right up there, and then as fast as they can speed walk it through just to get a little bit more activation in the glutes. Um, sprinting as well, so like hit style sprints. 
Um, these are all things, of course, you know, you want to work with a trainer, get your proper form, all that kind of good stuff. Um, and then mix that in with some, some steady eight state cardio as well. Mix up your cardio, but those ones are, are excellent. Um, as well, dun, dun, dun. oh yes, so proper glute training. Uh, so that's where we're at. So proper glute training depends on your body type. So it's hard for me to give exactly do these exercises because all of you out there are going to have completely different bodies. Um, so I'm going to say my type of body first. So my type of body, I'm, I'm a thicker girl. Um, if I don't train and I don't eat properly, I will be a big hair shape, like just, just big, big ankles, big calves, big knees, big thighs, like just wide, flat, um, not cute. Um, anyway, so it takes a lot of training for me to maintain and build a physique that I am happy with. And um, the types of training that I do for my glutes is actually surprisingly not dun -da -da, uh, squats, which is what everyone is like, squat, squat, you want glutes, everybody squat. Um, squats are great. Squats are great to me, to the girls that are, are smaller or have skinny legs um, and want to have a rounder butt or just have like, you know, athletic legs and don't mind a little bit of exercise on the legs. Um, squats done properly and squats done properly for glute training, in my opinion, will also build out your thighs. Um, so if you do not want bigger bum and bigger thighs together, because you can't separate when you're doing squats, um, then I would say that that is not the exercise for you. Um, if you do want bigger legs and bigger bum, then bam, it, it is a fantastic, fantastic exercise. Um, but you're generally not going to see me on the squat rack. You're just not going to really catch me there. Maybe every so often when I don't care that my thighs are going to grow that week because literally that's how fast my thighs grow. And men would love to have my thigh genetic. It's stupid. Um, probably from gymnastics. But anyways, I digress. Um, some exercises for my thicker girls um, for their bums to, you know, add with some growth and some size and everything. Um, I would stick more to isolated glute exercises for the glute area. You can train your legs, you know, not separately, but you can do a different type of training for your legs and a different type of training for your glutes, which is how I train and how I train my athletes. Um, so I look for isolated exercises, um, and there are some com compound exercises I like, um, but the compound exercises I like for glute development for thicker girls is more of a back of the leg, like a hamstring glute type tie-in, like, um, you know, like a, a deadlift or um, even like a hip thruster. They're not exactly isolated, they are a little bit, but anyways, sorry, I'm not even making full-on sense right now. But Exercises I really do like. I, I do like the abductor machine done properly with, with proper weights, building your way up to it. Um, I do like Pilates exercises where I actually add weight to it. Um, I do like using the, the, the bands. I have my own booty bands um, that I can show some exercises with. Um, anywhere where you can just really contract it. I like using the stability ball a lot. I love cable kickbacks, um, cable fit kickbacks. I think I do every single glute day. Um, I actually carry my ankle cuff with me in my bag at all times. It's like most people have their phone and, you know, lip gloss with them. I've got my phone and my lip gloss and my skipping rope and my glute um, band thing for my ankle. It's stupid. It's like in my bag right now. Anyways, because it's such a good exercise. Um, but I can, I can show some more of those exercises. I have some on my YouTube video. I have pictures of them on my Instagram of these isolated glute exercises. But that's what you need to do. You need to, again, be prepared um, for the weight loss, you know, because, again, you're going to lose some fat on your bum. You just need to build it back, build that bum back with muscle, which is going to be nice and round. And it does jiggle, okay? It does. It has movement. It's still nice. You can still dance. It will still bounce. I know... This sounds funny to people that don't care about this, but these are concerns that I hear. You know, I don't want it to be like that, like a table. I want it to still be juicy. Um, it will still be juicy. It's only like dead on firm if you are lean as lean can be and you're flexing. Um, just like, you know, a bicep when you let it go, even if it's muscular, there's, there's some give to it. Um, so you don't need to be concerned about those things. Um, and then as far as the abs, oh my god, this video is getting long, I'm so sorry. Um, as far as the abs, as you lean out, your abs are going to come in naturally, and that's going to be very, you know, attractive to you. Um, and then your training, my favorite type of training for abs is actually Pilates. Um, I am a Pilates instructor. I adore Pilates. Why? Because it does help with that narrowing in 
of the waist and it also really focuses into form and breathing which proper abs come from form breathing mind muscle connection really being connected to your abdominals and uh, and also just stay away from this type of movement side to side where you're focusing into the, the that side area that might block you out a little bit and you want to focus on to cinching um, learn how to breathe how to you know do this with me right now so put your uh, fingers on your ribs and wrap your thumb around your back and take a deep breath in and um, you know expand your ribs and exhale bring them together and you should like come really really um, close like that that is the type of breathing that I would like you to do when you're doing abs anyways like that that exhale when you are flexing it's everything should come tight together and that's going to help teach you how to train and cinch in those abs um, but abs are made in the kitchen if you're not following proper eating uh, you are not going to sit in that six pack even if you're doing Pilates on a daily basis um, and the other trick with for me with abs is I mix Pilates with my old school bodybuilding um, style abdominal training which is like um, hanging leg raises, uh, cable crunches so I'll do the heavy stuff with the really really good form and really good breathing um, Pilates style with my Pilates stuff so um, that in a very long video in a nutshell is uh, just a little bit of um, hopefully some helpful information on some abs and booty training um, again stay tuned to my YouTube channel and my Instagram and all that kind of stuff and Facebook uh, where I'm regularly trying to post some information and some teachings and everything. Um, and then of course if you are in the Toronto area I have my hourglass workout uh, which is about seven years strong now and now seven locations strong. Woo -woo. Uh, so excited. So we're all over the GTA now so we are at hourglassworkout.com and you can come and do the workout with us which is a very much abs and booty workout um, and plus you get your eating plan all that kind of good stuff otherwise if you're not in the area I am literally working on the online training as we speak I'm shooting the videos for it in about two weeks the website is about half done so I promise I know I've been saying it for a while but I promise it actually is coming soon <laughs> so um, stay tuned I will do another post on Instagram um, to get your questions so if you do have a question post it there post it on the Instagram and um, if you have questions about this video I guess you could post it I'm gonna put this on YouTube so you can probably post it one day uh, on YouTube I probably won't answer there but I will read all of the comments um, and uh, who knows I might get my question from there as well or at least be able to clarify in the next video so I'm so sorry it was a very long first video I obviously have a lot to say I hope you learned something and I uh, hope to see you out there in the social media world. Uh, train hard and peace out. Bye. <laughs>